Percy, you know, this storm kind of had rapid intensification. I think it was a tropical storm to a Cat 4 in 48 hours. It doesn't take long. And that's the thing. What we're watching in the Gulf of Mexico, you get water temperatures upper 80s and near 90 because of the climate change. You're going to see more and more of these storms accelerate in their intensification in very short periods of time. Now, the storm is raining itself out. It's just a subtropical area of low pressure. But there's still a lot of rain out across portions of Ohio, Indiana, into portions of southern uh, Illinois, western Kentucky. So there's going to be more flooding out of this. And another band of very heavy showers working their way to southeast sections of Virginia now towards the lower end of Delaware, Maryland. That's the last of it. But parts of North Carolina received close to 30 inches of rain. That's just devastating. 72 now in the city, 70 at Farmingdale, 70 at White Plains. Once again, cloud cover all day, east-northeast wind, not a big spread in temperatures from north, south, east, or west. Same scenario overnight tonight with mainly cloudy skies. There will be a little bit of light rain starting to break out from south to north as we go through the overnight. And then tomorrow morning we start out in the low to mid-60s, maybe get to about 70. Some low 70s in spots that see less rain. The areas that see a few more showers will tend to be just a degree or two cooler. But in terms of this evening, early on, I don't think we see much rain here. Central and southern sections of New Jersey, and that'll start to drift northward overnight. This is not a heavy hit of rain. It looks like the any moisture that's trying to creep in and get involved that was left of Helene probably gets shunted to the south of us tomorrow. But there still will be more frequent showers tomorrow. Then on Sunday, a little bubble of high pressure tries to nudge close enough keep the front a little further south and dry us out a little bit. Doesn't mean we won't see a shower or sprinkle around from time to time Sunday, but certainly less activity compared to tomorrow. Neither day complete washouts. It's just that Saturday will be the damper day and Sunday looks to be a little bit drier. This is kind of gravy right now for the Yanks at home. Pirates in town, 68 first pitch temperature. Decent night for a ball game as temperatures will slip into the upper 60s. Just watch out though for a couple of showers later in the game, probably after 6th or 7th inning. Light showers tomorrow, 71 should do it. And then again, Sunday, just plenty of clouds. Monday, not bad, partly cloudy 70. Another round of wet weather, though, that starts to move in late Tuesday into Wednesday. And temperatures stay close to 70 with sun returning Thursday.